Which came first, the chicken or the egg? At Bell and Evans, our chickens always come first. Hi, I'm Scott, the owner and leader of Bell and Evans. Unlike my competition, I've been raising chickens since I started school. The video you're about to see is in sharp contrast with what you may have seen or heard about other farming practices. It all starts with our carefully selected breeder chickens. We raise them from peeps with plenty of fresh air, fresh water, and our all-vegetarian diet. They have special areas for socializing, individual nests for comfort, and plenty of room to roam. After the eggs are gathered, they must meet our stringent criteria for quality and size before being transported to our hatchery. Once in the incubation trays, we electronically monitor the temperature and humidity, as well as air circulation around the eggs. They're rotated automatically in the trays every few hours, just like the mother hen would. And like magic, on day 21, the peeps start to hatch in the safety of their baskets. They are carefully sorted from their shells, counted and placed in protective delivery baskets, headed for the farm. Within hours, they'll be in their new home, traveling in luxury, in a temperature-controlled hatchery truck that keeps them warm and comfortable. These peeps are going to one of our certified organic farms, but organic or not, all Bell and Evans chickens are raised humanely in clean and spacious environmentally controlled houses. At the farm, preparations have been made in advance to welcome the new flock. Between flocks, manure is removed immediately and the house is thoroughly cleaned and disinfected. It remains empty for approximately two weeks to make sure any virus life cycle is broken. Then a new bed of clean wood shavings is laid down. Unlike other poultry producers who just add new litter to old manure, the cement floor has raised sides, making it easier to clean. It also guarantees rodents cannot tunnel under the floor and up into the house. Rodents are the major cause of Salmonella and Campylobacter in chickens. The temperature in the house has been raised to 90 degrees, so when the peeps arrive, they are warmly received. The chickens are going to come into a very comfortable house. And when they're comfortable, they immediately go and they eat and drink. When they're not comfortable, they huddle. They huddle to warm. In this case, in a house like this, with this system, they, there isn't going to be huddling. They're going to be all moving around. They're going to be happy. They're going to be comfortable. And they are going to eat and drink. And if they eat and drink, they're going to grow and they're going to live. And if they don't eat and drink, they're not going to make it. The water delivery system dispenses fresh well water automatically. From the moment they arrive, these peeps have plenty of water and feed waiting for them. And within minutes, they're eating, drinking, and exploring their new home. Our chicks thrive on their all-natural vegetarian diet. The feed is our special blend of locally grown corn and soybeans blended with essential vitamins and minerals to bolster our young chick's immune system, just like an infant's formula. Our feed mill uses extruded and expeller-pressed soybean processing methods that are environmentally friendly and produce soy meal that is more easily digestible and richer in protein and amino acids than commonly used hexane solvent extracted soybean meal. We take the extra step to pelletize the food because it makes the feed more digestible and less likely that contaminants enter the food chain. Each batch is electronically monitored to make it meet our formulation standards. And unlike commodity produced chickens, we never feed our chicks junk food. No rendered meat scraps, no bone, feather, or fish meal, no animal fats, no expired bakery goods, no used cooking oils or grease, and no arsenic, to name a few. Sure, their diet is more expensive, but they deserve the very best. Since our chicks start out healthier and are raised naturally in a low-stress environment, we have no need to pump them full of antibiotics throughout their lives. Bell & Evans chickens receive no antibiotics in the water, the feed, or even the egg, ever. As you can see, our healthy, happy chicks have almost doubled in size in just a few days. Just like other youngsters, our chicks run, jump, and play, building healthy bodies and strong muscles. Today's uh, chickens that are grown in the darker houses and with no, no natural light, so they don't get exercise, they don't build muscle structure. So consequently, they're always, always down on their breast. At the end of the day, that's not great for the chicken, and then the chicken we consume has got you know, uh, markings on the breast or breast blisters. In this house, uh, they're certainly going to be more active with the natural light. As they get older, the doors are open to the outdoor pens, 
and our organic chickens are free to sunbathe in the warm grass or take shelter in their state-of-the-art chicken house when the weather is bad. And speaking of state-of-the-art, our houses have cutting-edge electronic systems that monitor all conditions in the house around the clock. When the chickens are ready to leave the farm, our main concern is keeping their stress levels low. Unlike the dump system used by competitors in our industry, we designed our humane live haul system of placing our chickens in individual drawers within a module. Each module is loaded and moved as a unit. Since we place only 12 to 14 chickens in each drawer, our system prevents overcrowding and allows air to circulate around and through each drawer. You see, our chickens have plenty of room. And once placed in the drawer, they settle in and relax almost immediately. Drawers are thoroughly cleaned and sanitized between each flock. They fit into modules that provide protection from the elements and a sense of security during the trip. These drawers will become an integral part of our slow induction anesthesia process. While in the safety of these drawers, the birds will be rendered unconscious slowly before being removed. SIA is the final step in creating the life cycle of humane animal compassion we outlined in the Pell and Evans Humane Animal Welfare Standard. Leading Livestock Handling Authority, Temple Grandin, agrees. This SIA process will be a big step forward in chicken welfare. Although we are third-party audited by GAP, the Global Animal Partnership, an internationally recognized humane animal welfare system, we feel our Bell and Evans standards with SIA makes us the industry leader in humane treatment of chickens. Families feeding families since the 1890s.